First Sergeant Kep here with Company D, 2nd United States Sharpshooters, and thank you for joining us on this episode of Sharpshooter Minutes. Today we are going to talk about improving your campaign impression. Now a lot of events I see uh, people go through the effort of getting a really nice period correct, period sewn, uh, shelter tent or dog tent, and they'll even go so far as to get the, the natural wood framing for it, and it makes a great impression. But almost all the time, they ruin that impression with the ubiquitous iron stake. Now, no self-respecting soldier would carry these, one, because they're heavy, and two, at the end of the day, if you need to set up your camp, odds are you're not going to have enough of these to go around. So soldiers would have to improvise and make stuff out of the environment. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how you can throw these away and make some nice... Uh, campaign style wooden stakes for your shelter half or dog tent. Now there are many wonderful ways that you can make these. It's really the sky's the limit. The size is going to vary based on the size of uh, tie downs on your shelter half. Uh, I usually make these in a variety of sizes anywhere between an inch in diameter up to about an inch and a half. Uh, so that way there's you know if you have different sizes in your unit you'll have a stake size to fit all of them. Um, what I usually do is I uh, go out and cut down some saplings. These are maple, and uh, they are roughly, these ones are about nine and three quarters inches long, but uh, that's going to depend on how long you need yours, the type of ground you're working with. So you're, you're going to customize these to your needs. Uh, I use maple because it's a hard enough wood. And some of you who are familiar with woodworking may be thinking to yourself, hey, first sergeant, that stuff looks pretty green. Uh, green wood isn't going to be as hard as seasoned wood. And you're absolutely right. But you have to think, too, that if you're in a war and you need to set up a tent for a night or a weekend, you're not going to take the time to pre-make steaks, carry them in your knapsack for a month or two while they season to a nice hardness for whatever you're using. The soldiers are going to take whatever material, whatever wood is easy and available at hand and make it so they can get a tent up. Um, these are also great too if you don't have the the benefits of sticking a couple of rifles with bayonets into the ground. Um, so I'm set up here with an 1850s style uh, shaving horse because I make a lot of these. These things are so handy uh, when I'm doing uh, green and traditional woodworking. Um, but if all you have is a bow saw and a hatchet, you can make these anywhere. So, uh, like I said, you cut your length and about, for what I do, about two inches down from the top, I'll cut a notch with my bow saw about a third of the way into the stake. You don't want to go too far. And then you carefully just start shaping. your tent stake. Now you want to be careful on this notch that you don't swing your hatchet so hard you cut the tip of the stake off. So there, just a, you already got your notch ready to go. <clears throat> and then what you do is on the same side as you have your notch, you uh, trim the head down just a little bit. So you want essentially the the part, the short part uh, removed on the top so that way when you drive this in with a mallet you don't actually snap the top of your stake off. And this is a nifty little trick that I learned from um, Dave Canterbury's Wisdom of the Wall Tent series that you can see on his channel at Wilderness Outfitters on YouTube. So now you have your little notch cut. This is This works so great. And then all you're doing now is just taking your hatchet and making the bottom pointy. And if you plan on using these a lot, if you want one like solid set that you take to every event, you'd probably want to remove the bark to make them a little longer lasting. Soldiers in the field wouldn't waste the time making these. They just, whatever is at hand uh, to keep the tent up. Just like that, with a hatchet, you got your first tent stake. 
Now, if you have one of these, or you're interested in making one, or trying to find reasons to get one, let me show you how this works. So, I start with my notch side towards me, and a saw horse, or a shaving horse, excuse me, is essentially just a foot-powered vise. I have my notch, I'm going to take my draw knife. You can pick these draw knives up just about anywhere, most antique stores. You can get really nice folding ones if you don't have the storage room for all sorts of tools. And again, I'm removing that notch at the top so the stake is less likely to break. This is uh, really handy because I usually end up making uh, tent stakes for everyone in my company because I live on five acres of timberland. And this is a, this kind of counts as yard work, or if I'm in a pinch, I'll just go and raid the firewood pile. And also, too, with a uh, shaving horse, if your the wood that you got is maybe too too thick or oddly shaped, you can really take the time and form these to exact dimensions if you want. So there you have it, a nice uh, wooden stake to improve your camping impression. These will uh, harden fairly quickly, they'll dry out real nice and get even harder. And the nice thing is if you take a walk in the woods or odds are in your backyard, you have everything you need to improve your impression for almost nothing. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below, and we'll see you on the battlefield.